out how our little balsa ring came out here. So I ended up uh, pulling it off of the um, motor and the shroud and everything. And then um, I completely soaked it in warm water and then rewrapped it and let it sit overnight and dry. And uh, you can see it just pretty much holds its shape. Um, I have one area that I cut to let it expand because it'll actually, um, when it's wet, it'll be quite a bit longer. And um, anyway, so you have to have a stress point release on there. Otherwise, it'll break when it... Uh, when it's drying so anyway but uh, so that's that and then I um, wanted to clarify a little bit because um, some people were asking if this was going to be strong enough well this part on here will be epoxied to the fiberglass duct right there so that I mean half of the duct now is uh, going to be very rigid um, I'm gonna have another ring that's gonna be right down here that will be glued onto the balsa ring. That's what allows us our lip. So then, then we can slide the duct right onto the Stumax. So um, now I also need a wooden ring across the top here um, in order to fit into the existing Stumax um, duct work that I already have in the aircraft. So um, when you figure Really all I did was uh, two widths of my ruler um, and our wood piece is one width. So pretty much that entire duct is going to be covered in wood. So it's going to be plenty strong, but um, I can put some uh, carbon toe <clears throat> around the outside once I get it all done. But um, the wood will be epoxied. To the fiberglass duct so this thing's going to be super rigid i'm not worried about it collapsing uh, whatsoever so anyhow so next we need to make one more ring for our lower part that's going to make the flange so that we can uh, rest it right on top of our uh, stumax so we're gonna flash back to yesterday as to how i made this all right. Okay, I've got our new strip ready to go. Um, I've already wrapped it around and uh, cut it to length. Um, I actually cut it a little bit shorter. Um, we'll have to go in later and um, pop in a little piece just like on this one here to uh, fill that in. But like I said, we want to allow for the um, expansion contraction from when we get it wet and when we let it dry. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to wrap this around. Now I put uh, the ring back on here because um, we want that to be um, part of our, our sizing here so that everything fits the way it uh, needs to. So basically I'm just going to wrap it around just like that. Tape it. All right. Whoa. <laughs> we need a big.
bigger piece of tape. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the house and completely saturate this with water. Um, and what that'll do is allow it to, one, conform to the shape a little bit easier, and two, it gives the balsa kind of a memory of the shape, uh, like this other one here. If I take it off the duct, uh, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, it's just completely round. It's That's its new shape. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that, but uh, you can kind of see now how this works. Um, it's going to be able to slide off and on to the uh, Stumax because we made basically a nice nice little ridge there so um, while I'm letting this dry I'm going to cut five more strips and that's what we'll use for our final lip across the uh, top here um, which will allow it to fit into the uh, Stumax ductwork um, nice and tight um, so anyway while that's uh, drying enjoy another flashback Okay, before we add the top part of the duct, I guess to make sure that it's even going to fit, um, let's go ahead and finish this bottom part. Um, if this is correct, then this part here should fit into the Stumax ducting um, just perfect. If not, that means we're going to have to modify what we actually put up here, like if the wood needs to be thinner or anything like that. So, the very first thing we're going to do is add a bead of CA. We'll just go ahead and add it all the way around. You want to make sure that everything's lined up and pushed down and everything just the way it should be. Which, uh, I checked that out before. Before I started making the video here. All right, we're going to go ahead and let that soak in and dry and then the next step will pop that baby off okay so the CA is pretty good pretty close to being dry there so we should be able to remove our tape alright so far so good and then should be able to Remove the entire ring. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move it to the very front edge because we need to see if this is going to fit into the Stumax ducting. So let's check that out. Okay, so here's how it fits into our ducting. It's just perfect. So we know that our little plan of making another ring here for the front part of the duct will work just fine. So just wanted to show you guys that and go ahead and remove 
this. I'm going to have to turn off the camera to do that so I don't mess everything up. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and show you the ring up close. You guys haven't got to really see that yet. If it will focus, there it goes. So, see, we've got that nice lip that fits right over the Stumax shroud and motor. And we got this side here. So, I'm um, going to go ahead and apply the glue to the inside. Just to make sure this thing is solid. And when I make the front side of the duct, I'm going to leave this gap in there uh, so that if we need to squeeze it into that duct a little bit, there will be a little bit of flex there. So. Anyway, on this side, um, eh, you know what, I'll probably just leave it on this side. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, this entire inside surface here will be adhered to the duct there. So, anyhow. Um, well, it looks like we're getting close to our time limit there. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a part three where we do the um, top half of our, the front half here. And uh, we should be done with that on our part three video.